Okay, I'm out here first thing in the morning and I'm gonna go ahead and do the second part of my video of how to make seed starter soil because there's a shortage on peat moss right now. So, I got myself a bin and I got myself some tools and I got myself some supplies and the first thing I wanna do is take these trays that I'm making DIY and I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes in them and this is how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is get myself a drill bit and if you don't know what size to use, just get yourself a little planter pot and put it in and use the same size, real simple. Put the drill bit, let's get rid of this. Put the drill bit on your drill. Grab whatever tray you want to use. In, in, in my instance, this is scrap metal that came from a Florida screen room that was tore down. And I said, well, can I have that? Yep, I put it in my scrap pile and now I found a use for it. Instead of utilizing little trays that are plastic, this will last me forever and I can stretch them out long ways. As long as they got drainage, you're doing good. So, take a drill bit and as you can see, I got some holes drilled. There's three of them right there. So every so many inches, I'm going to put three, three, three all the way across. They don't have to be even or anything like that. Okay, this is three down, three down even. I don't want them all even. So I'm going to kind of do them a little different. I'm going to go ahead and... I don't want to do that. So I'll put one in the middle of those two. But for here, you go like a dice. One, two, three, four, and one in the middle. Five. But for the video, this is it. Let me get to those and I'll show you the finished product. But let me go ahead and start on the soil first. Because everything I'm doing now is going to be repetitive. Okay, so here I am. Go ahead and get yourself any kind of container. It doesn't matter. The bigger the better. I got some worm castings. I have a bag of perlite. I always like getting the big bags. And you go ahead and get yourself some composted manure. So basically what this is, it's composted cow manure and it's also composted chips. So instead of me going to my chip pile, instead of me going to my horse manure pile, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. It's just easier. It's only $2.50 a bag at Home Depot. So I'm going to open it up and dump a bag in. Okay. 
Okay, the, the reason why I chose this, if you look at it, it's real fine. You can see it's got sand in it, it's got dirt in it, and it does have little bits of composted chips. So th these chips are the same chips that I make in my big pile that I use in the garden. But right now my pile is really hot. So here you go, this here is weed free and it's done right. And it's accessible for you to utilize. If I show you me doing it from my big pile, you're not gonna have that. But going to the big box store, $2.50 and you got it. So, you wanna go ahead and take one bag. Okay, you can get yourself any type of scooper, any kind of container. So, for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. Everybody's got that, it's just coffee mate. You can use coffee, whatever. So, I'm gonna go ahead. And use perlite. Now perlite, what that does, this won't break down, it, it's great. When you mix it in, it'll create drainage. So when you water your plants, all of this becomes moist and damp, and all of the excess water flows through and drains out. Plus, it keeps the soil lighter and fluffier, so your roots could grow in between the pockets of the perlite and get longer, and they're not confined into one little space, and then you see lens, yellow and then die the water's got to drain so i'm gonna go ahead and add one gonna add two gonna add three of these now i don't know the measurement yet but when i mix it up When I mix it, I can kind of see what's happening there. So, gonna add another one. Okay, so that's five of them already. So I got five to one bag. Now I know the outcome already, but for the video, I'm gonna show you how to judge it. <coughs> Should put on a face mask. Holding my breath. Okay. Now I can kind of see, it's looking good. Well, I want one more. Oh, on the floor it goes. <coughs> I can take that off of the floor. But for now, I'll pile it up so I don't step on it. <coughs> okay, so if you go ahead and look at this, Basically, it looks like the pot and soil you get in the store, only better and cheaper. After all, what I'm trying to accomplish here is showing you how to make it on a frugal basis. I like to do everything as frugal as I can. Why not save money and make yourself some quality compost, especially 
Right now, there's a peat moss shortage. Now, I want to go ahead and add some worm castings. It's beneficial to the soil and the roots of your plants. Plus, it helps to keep it a little bit fluffier. So, let's go ahead and add this in. Okay, there's a half a bag. Okay, that's mixed in there real nicely and let me show you what worms castings look like worm castings nice rich and black now worm castings is worm poop like manure poop horse poop sheep poop 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 manure is great worm manure is great now in this every now and then when I plant when I make some of this and plant in trays if I put it in a pot and grow the plants in the pot I'll notice I got worms in the pot there might be a couple eggs that are in here and they hatch in your pot and grow how else would the worms get in your pot okay so I got this now we're gonna go over there. Okay, if I was utilizing this in pots like this, it would be the same, except for before you put it in the pot, you wet it and you moisten it and you get it to the right texture. But when you put it in outside trays, you don't need to moisten it and put it in the pot. You can just put it in there and then hose in some water because it's just going to drain through. Okay, so for the video, I'm going to go ahead and take any kind of scooper. Now, if I just dump that in, I'm going to miss and it's going to go all over. So, a scooper works best. Okay, all I'm doing here is leveling it on out. I don't want it to overflow the ends. So... Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I still got a bunch left over on here. Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to water that down and get it moist. Okay, so I have my magic wand. I have the water turned on so it comes out the way I want it. Wash off my hands a little bit. Okay, now, now I have my magic wand over here. It's magic because it adds a secret ingredient, water, which is going to make your seedlings grow. They're going to propagate and grow. And I got it flowing properly. And I utilized one where I could adjust it. So... Let's go ahead and water this in. And 
and just like that it's watered. You can squeeze the water out here, but in a few minutes, In a few minutes, that water is going to seep out the bottom, and I have this all set up on wood, so it's okay to do that. Okay, so now get yourself a pencil or anything sharp, depending on what you're going to plant. I'm going to go ahead and plant onions in this one. So I want them in rows. So you just take this, and you go down that way, and that's a row. Or just kind of go one row two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows. You can do it like that. Now, in the house, on the LED lights, you do each individual plant like that. So if you want to do plants, you take this, and you go one plant, two plant, three plant. One, two, three. And now you got individual squares and you can put your plant just like that right in the center. So we got a row here, we got a row here, we got a row here, a row here, and now we got individual plants. Okay, so if you take a pencil or a bar or anything you want and you put it right here on the soil, you can put it down there and just press. That's a nice straight row. You could put them close if they're onions. Another row. Here. You could do another row. And another row. So you get the point. Now, over here, if you take one of these pots that you're going to normally pot in, it could be a cup, it could be anything, you just place it on there and push down. And that gives you little squares. You could just keep on going like that. And then in the center, you could put your hole for your seeds and drop your seeds in. So that works out good. Just like if you're going to do it in the house in a pot. And that works out good for the row crop. Now I'm going to do this whole tray onion. Okay, so for the sake of the video, if I do one tray or all those trays, it's going to be the same. So in this instance, I did one tray. You already know how to plant seeds. I don't feel I need to show you how to plant seeds. The main thing was, how do you make good seedling starting soil mix? And this is how you do it. Now the amount of soil that's in there will probably be about $20 if you, or more, if you bought the potted mix in the stores because they're small bags um, and what did I spend I spent two dollars and fifty cents a little pearl light that's probably about two dollars that I used and the worm castings was probably about two dollars that I used uh, maybe four dollars you know I don't know but anyway it, it's a whole lot cheaper to do it like that regardless of whether it's cheaper or not it's still if you go to the store to buy a large quantity of peat moss, they don't have it right now. There's a shortage. That miracle stuff, I can tell you right now, if you get their peat moss and you use it, once you start planting in it, your plant comes up as a seedling and that soil gets really hard in there. And it starts strangling the roots and the plant and they don't do good. Don't ask me why, it's just too fine. But when you buy the three cubic foot, it's just like what I just used over here. It's more looser and dense. Um, it lets the water flow good through it when you use it with um, perlite. However, it stays loose. It does not harden up. So there is a difference in peat moss. I wouldn't have really known that if we didn't have a shortage and I didn't go ahead and try a different brand than I normally use. Okay, so anyway, there you go. That's how you make your own organic seed starting soil. Save some money, plus have better soil for your seeds. Also, get yourself some scrap metal. If you see somebody that's taking down a screen room or you know somebody, utilize the metal as huge trays. 
gosh, look how many feet of that. You know how many? It would take 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 6, 70. That's about 20 trays right there. I got more, but for right here, that's about 20 trays. And you know what the prices of trays are if you buy them online. So, hey, all the way around, I'm being frugal and I'm saving. And I'm trying to save you some money. I'm going to go ahead and mix some more seed start in soil mix that I created. And I'm going to fill in the rest of my trays, water them down, and then I'm going to go ahead and plant my seeds. So when they're sowed out here on the porch, I'm in Florida, it's hot out. They're going to sprout. Once they sprout and get it going, I'm going to take them down there to the garden and see how my garden grows. Okay, I did as much as I could do right now. I got one, two, three, four, four filled, one about a quarter filled, and I got plenty of dirt, but I ran out of perlite. So here I am going to the store to get more perlite. So I could go ahead and finish what I started over here. Meanwhile, I wet it so it could soak through. And I could pack it down a little bit more and add more on top. So back at you.